Hello YouTubers and welcome to another one of my episodes about Minecraft. Today I'm going to be showing you my house in the Assassin Guild world, which I think is fairly impressive, but really I just have to thank Minecraft for making such an awesome mountainous world. Now, I am a huge fan of glass, as you can see right here. <laughs> Looks kind of weird from the outside with all the crap around, but whatever. Um, Here's the front door. Iron doors, because I think it goes well well with glass. Blah. One thing I don't like, though, which Notch really needs to fix, it are these iron double doors. They don't work. If I put a pressure pad for the uh, outside right side door, it, the default position is open, which makes no goddamn sense at all, especially when you step on the switch and it closes right in your face. So, uh, yeah, Notch needs to get on that and stop pissing me off. Alright, this is the... Uh, front room atrium thing with paintings of coolness. Gr there's a creeper here to greet you. This is my living room with a netherrack fireplace. Very cozy at nighttime. Table here with a candle. This is my, right now, limited storage room. I mean, since I have embedded, I kind of don't really need it all that much, but what the hell. I guess I'll, I would use it if I made this into a server. Although there's reasons why I can't really make a server, so... I'll have to get somebody else to do it for me. Anyway, here's one of the bedrooms. Comes with another netherrack fireplace. And got a really extensive closet in here. Four double chests. It's a big deal. Another bedroom. This is, I guess would be the guest bedroom. Even though they're both guest bedrooms. Although, I don't know. I guess I'll put whatever guy I hate more in this one because <laughs> he gets less storage pace and no fireplace. Now this is probably the most hilarious room in the house my bathroom. This is how I made a freaking toilet. Yeah, it's sitting in a minecart. Doesn't actually go anywhere. That's kinda nasty. This is my sink. Good luck trying to actually reach the water. <laughs> and this is my shower which if you're not careful, you can easily drown in. So, good luck with that. Alright, that's the first floor of my house. This is my stairway with my creepy little thing. I wanted to keep this place as natural as possible. I actually found this floating island of snow and dirt. So, that was pretty awesome. I just kind of decided to build around it. Um... That's why I have a lot of snow blocks instead of stairs. Usually I would use stairs, but they would take away from the Minecraft natural beauty of it. This is my library, my non-assassin library. So actually has room for sci-fi and the classics, movies and games, lore, my books, my encyclopedia and of course a portal device manual everybody needs one of those all right this is my tv watching room there's a nice martial arts movie going on right now yep over here i have a bar now trap doors piss me off because they attach to the thing next to them which is why i have to have this stupid wool block here i don't know why notch made it that way it's pretty annoying but well, I guess you couldn't place a ladder if it were on the one lower, so... Oh well, I guess it'll have to stay that way. Here's a jukebox, which I'll have to slap a record in sometime. This is my bedroom, which has another rack fireplace in the corner. And opens up to this awesome scenic view on a balcony. Would be a lot better if I set the render distance farther, but um, that actually crashes my Minecraft pretty easily, so... Uh, yeah. But it still looks pretty cool. It's like a nice, misty, Scottish Highlands type thing going on. Um, this is my kitchen. This is probably the best looking uh, stove I could get. A couple of buttons on the sides. Pressure plates look like uh, the cooking plate things, whatever. Kitchen sink. Much less stupid than the bathroom sink, but whatever. I was, uh, yeah... I guess I don't need any kind of lava thing here. Would have been nice though. This is my awesome conference dining table thing, which for some reason keeps deleting these wooden stairs that I use for chairs here. 
Don't know why that keeps happening. It's as though this fire down here keeps like burning through them or something. Oh well. I'll restock that later. And this room, I really had no clue what to do with it, so I just made sure to identify it as a fucking room, because that's exactly what it is. It's a fucking room. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Room design pisses me off. Okay, and up here, we have a nice glowing lava moat. It's good to keep the animals off of it, because... Yeah, just like that little bastard right there who just walked away, saw lava, he's like, oh shit. He ain't getting in here. When they do get on here, I just shove them in. It's nice. Good barbecue smell. Um, but at night, it glows pretty bright, and you can have some really sweet rave parties up here. That is, if this were a server. But, alas, it is not yet. Okay. And now, as stupid as this is for me to show you like this, I'm going to take you to a secret thing. This is my secret hot tub, which is totally conspicuous because of the waterfall and whatever, but whatever, it's secret. It's concealed by trees, so it's secret. Shut up. Um, it's got totally awesome heating that I put in myself. That took a lot of deaths. <laughs> and uh, if you feel like all of a sudden going for a ride, you just ride down my waterfall into... my under uh... my underhouse courtyard i thought it would be really nice to have a little water trough go around the house and have a bunch of waterfalls going around be really pretty have a garden lit by glowstone a lot of bamboo sweetness secret cave down there but i don't care much for caves unless it's my assassin guild i love my assassin guild to death in here can't really see it in daytime, but at nighttime you see this eerie little glow coming from this cave from which you can access my nether portal with all the creepy sounds you know and love. That's why I've made it so far away from the actual house. Okay, so now that we have this, I have one more thing to show you, and that's, well, because my house is so big, it has a pretty serious railway. Yep, this is where my Assassin Guild is. It's over there in the corner somewhere. Um, it's for the railway. Let me just get rid of this from my minecart stop video. I am. I realized my utter stupidity in this design, and I'm going to make another video to uh, rectify. Because honestly, like, don't even look at my last video. It's like so elementarily stupid. Like, just don't even watch it. Okay, but excuses aside, this is my giant railway that goes all along my house if I could get the mine car to run. Yay. Alright. Go up this pretty awesome ramp up the mountainside. You can see my waterfall. And we're here at the hot tub. Alright. We got the hot tub. This one's a little tricky to get started. Yeah. Alright. And now we have the awesome view from the mountaintop if clouds weren't in the goddamn way. Hate clouds, but oh well. They won't obstruct the view going down. Woo! Those are my two twin mountains over there. Might do something with them. This is just ground access. If you don't feel like going through the front door, you can just kind of fly up using this, go through the trees, and up the mountainside. Very twitchy, but pretty cool that you're going up the mountainside. This uh, goes up to my, s my roof, with the rave party. Uh, ride this around, more mountainside stuff. And we get to my balcony. It's another little house access thing. And just a short distance away, this is my physics lab. This is where if I have any um, ideas or questions about properties of any you know blocks that come into existence on Minecraft I can just plant stuff here and figure it out. This is my failed attempt at a uh, cobblestone maker. I don't know why cobblestone makers don't work for me but maybe you kind-hearted folks can help me out. 
This was something my brother was working on. He was making a sort of mini Zelda type dungeon in his world. And uh, it's kind of cute. Whatever. Little brothers never make anything interesting. This is my secret door mechanism, which I will make a video for soon. I realize it's not very compact. Maybe you guys can help me with that. Or actually, no. I just came up with a a uh, improvement for it today. So it makes the little hallway a lot shorter. I don't think I'm going to upgrade my Assassin Guild, though. Those hallways are pretty good for the wow factor. Uh, this This is actually an experiment for a mega build I will be working on when the adventure update comes out, which I don't know if I can even express right now how large it's going to be. Like, if I can actually have the determination to get it done, I I don't even... It's going to shake the Minecraft world, really. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding. It's going to be bigger than anything you've ever seen in Minecraft, ever. And I can't give too many details right now, but... Anyway, and this comes back here, and there's a sheep hijacking one of my minecarts. <sighs> and I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but it's a natural feature. It looked kind of like an altar. Might do something with that. And yeah, that is my residential sector of my Minecraft world, or my Assassin Minecraft world, anyway. Uh, and well, hope you guys enjoy and can't wait to see you on there if I manage to see if I manage to make this into a server and maybe I'll make some more guest rooms or something keep the single player world for myself and uh, yeah thanks for watching please subscribe and goodbye